Hey YouTube, so I'm here because I wanted to do a quick review over this flat iron I got this week and I'm so excited because I've been looking for it everywhere. Um, I was looking for it at Sally's, Walmart, Target, whatever, online. I was looking for it, I couldn't find it and I was getting pissed. So I finally found it at this vendor for a decent price and now I'm going to share it with you guys. So recently I got the Nano Titanium Babyless Pro. I don't know if it's really Babyless, Babyless, Balillas, whatever. I'm going to call it Babyless because that's what it looks like and I'm, you know, sounding it out. So I don't know. We're going to go with that, Babyless. So I just, I bought this for $99.00. Um, with tax, it was 108 or whatever, which is not terrible. And I know some people are going to say, you could have got it from eBay for $69. You could have got it from Amazon for so-and-so dollars. Way cheaper. I understand. But let me tell you why I did not go that route. Because originally, I was. I started reading reviews on Amazon and eBay and on Google and things like that. And of course, like everything else, um, they make fake baby list flat irons. So I was like, mm, I'm not spending $5 on a fake flat iron. And so I was like, okay, I need to make sure I get a real one. And I need to make sure I'm ordering it from a real vendor. So, um, yeah. I made sure of that. And let me tell you what else threw me off. I was looking at some people on YouTube. No offense to the people I was looking at. I'm, you know, I'm not knocking you. If you like the iron you got, hey, whatever. But what I noticed, which was kind of odd, was that if you notice on here, this has a little dial up that goes, this little dial up here that goes to 50. So that was kind of blurry, but whatever. It goes from one to 50 on heat settings. So you turn it on, you decide what dial-up you, you want to use, and you get to iron out your hair. So that's what I thought Babyless had across the board. Um, then I noticed that some YouTubers and some other people in, on the eBay website, I noticed that some of them had the digital, uh, on Falica too, they have digital um, settings. Um, and so what the settings is, is it's like this little digital screen and it has four options and you just click it up and it goes to like maybe 200 and then it goes to like 310 and then it goes to like 410 and then 450 because this does heat up all the way to 450. That is true. But it only had four options, which I thought was kind of odd and they were kind of randomly odd numbers to, you know, make your options. So Mm, that seemed like because I never saw that on their website. That's why I was like, maybe that one's fake because that I've never seen that before. So that's another thing that, you know, kind of threw me off. I was like, eh. and I like having 50 options so I can kind of gauge as opposed to having four. And then, you know, you got a hundred degrees between each option. Like that's a big gap. Like that's not nothing small, like five degrees, like a hundred degrees, every gap, every choice you make, you go up another hundred degrees. So I didn't like that. Um, so yeah. And then I was going to go to Ulta and get it. And it's like $140 in Ulta. But when I looked on again, the baby list website, which was very odd to me, Ulta, was not on the list. And you know, Ulta usually has like legit products. And I'm not saying that it's not legit at Ulta. I'm just letting you know, when Babylist made a list of vendors, they did not put Ulta on there. That's all I'm saying. So I don't know if you want to chance $140. I don't know. That's up to you. I wasn't going to do it because that was too much money to be, you know, guessing. So as far as vendors go. So where I bought mine was Beauty Choice. No. Beauty Drama. <laughs> Sorry. Beautydrama.com. Um, they do have a location in Houston that you can buy it directly if you happen to be in the surrounding areas. And if not, then you can order it online. They ship out if you place your order before 
three o'clock Monday through Friday they ship it out that day so I'm pretty sure shipping is you know pretty simple um, so anyway back to the iron that's where I got it from that's why I got it because I think there's a lot of fakes oh yeah and this lady on eBay when I read the reviews on Amazon this lady was like she's one of the she for some company she buys a lot of products or a lot of flat irons and beauty supplies and for other companies to see if it's like legit and she said she bought from 12 vendors for baby lists and only two of them were legit on Amazon and I was like two out of the 12 people you bought from was legit that's like 90 percent I don't know the exact number but that's a lot that's fake out there and it's not like on Amazon they're really cheap they're still like 70 80 maybe 90 dollars depending eBay is a lot cheaper a lot of those are coming out of China um and somebody said don't buy it out of China that's what I heard I'm just gonna go with it and they were like $54 I'm like eh. you know of course I would love to pay $54 but not for a fake one absolutely not and it was the thick one and I didn't want the thick one you like they have this one and three quarter one that is a little bit thicker it's a little heavier um than this so yeah I didn't really want that I wanted an ultra thin one um this is the only place I saw the one and a half inch usually everybody sells the one inch and I think the one is, is fine. I would probably get it one day just for my leave out. But I mostly wanted this for my weave because it's so hard to make it bone straight. It's so annoying. And this one pass, I promise you, one pass, you're done. You do not need to go over it uh, four or five times, which is what I have to do with my GHD. I do have a GHD. I do own a Chi. So... I do have other flat irons. Uh, they okay. She's okay. GHD is better than she, but it's still okay. This is so good. This is my favorite. GHD would be my second option. She would be my third. Um, she's kind of in the same family as FHI. So, yeah, they're kind of the same thing. I heard people wanted the CDU or SEDU. S-E-D-U, I don't know. But it said they didn't last that long, and they make a lot of fake one of those. A lot, from what I heard. So, anyways, here no there, from what I heard. Um, Yeah, I just really like this one. If y'all want me to do, like, a video on me earning on my hair, I guess I can. If y'all want. It doesn't matter. But if not, then I won't bother. But, yeah, so, here no there. Just watch out if you're going to get any kind of flat iron. Do your research. Don't get a fake one. Um, don't pay hella money for no reason. And this would be my favorite of all time. So I would definitely, definitely get the baby list. It's really good. Oh, and they have a four-year warranty, you guys. They have a four-year, four-year warranty. What flat are you know got a four-year warranty? None. My GHD has a one year. My Chi has a one year. This bad boy has a four year. And when you turn it in, they replace it. They don't just fix it and send it back. They give you a brand new one. So even if it broke in four years, if you got four years worth out of this boy, you're doing really good. Like awesome. And I know people who had this for years and it's still going. It may look a little raggedy, but it's still going. So here nor, here nor there. I love it. If you can get it, get it. It's great for ironing out curly weaves on one pass, not two or three. Not I got to soak it down with a whole bunch of stuff and then iron it out. I got to blow dry it straight, do a little Brazilian, I mean, Dominican blow dry. And then it ain't, it don't take all that. It just takes this one little flat iron and like one pass and you're good. I promise you, you are good. So yeah, and it gets really hot. So be careful. Be really careful. It gets really ridiculously hot. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions for me, let me know. But thumbs up to the baby list. I love it. Okay. Till next time, you guys. Love you.